What the rocks? I'm 18. Why can't I say f***? Okay, so here's how our internet family works. No matter how old you are, we'll give you unlimited ice cream, take you on impossible trips, and be the most magical internet parents you've ever had. But we have weird made-up rules, like no drinking, no dating, and of course, no swearing. However, if you're 18, you're an internet-adopted adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you still can't say f*** because we said so. Love you! I rebounded with my ex-girlfriend. It was a mistake. So after breaking up with Melinda in 2013, we lasted about three months apart. And then we got back together. And I'm sure you're like, well, they're married now, so I'm sure they're not going to break up again. Wrong! You know, I know, everyone knows it's a terrible idea to get back together with your ex. The only people that don't know are the stupid couples that do it. So surprise, surprise, after the excitement wore off, we remembered we hated each other. And after a month and a half of being back together, we broke up again. My secret girlfriend and I got busted by a phone bill. Here's how. Melinda left for college two months into our relationship, but her parents didn't know we were dating until they got their most expensive phone bill ever. Basically, we'd talk every night, fall asleep, wake up in the morning, and the call would still be going. And that would have been fine if she had unlimited minutes, but she didn't. Her bill ended up being $400, and that's how her parents found out about me. After that, we weren't allowed to date, so that was cool. Here's the worst dating mistake I've ever made. I had never been in a relationship before, but when my wife and I started dating, I knew I was in love. We'd been together for- I'm sad, what do I do? Okay, so our rule is that if you're sad for three days in a row, then you have to shake things up. So, if you're on or past day three, this is an emergency. And here's what we're gonna do about it. Go for a walk outside! Splurge on that thing that you've been wanting! Get two scoops and a waffle cone! And if you're ever unsure if you should do something that's good for you, say to yourself, I got permission from my parents. Love you! Here's the crazy, complicated, true, full story of how I met my wife, the beginning. Our relationship began almost exactly eight years ago, but it almost didn't. Prepubescent Alex was a self-proclaimed player. Every year I'd tell a new girl I liked her, she said she'd like me back, and then I'd chicken out and never make a move. My problem? I was a wimp, but I was homeschooled as a kid, so give me a break. And then I met Melinda. You know how when you meet someone, you can just keep both talking and the conversation never gets boring? That's what it was like. But she was leaving for college and I was staying local, so I knew she'd say no if I asked her out. My friend said I shouldn't do it. Her friend said I shouldn't do it. I didn't think I should do it, but I did. And she she said yes, and then the problem started. Are we allowed to watch R-rated movies? Sneaking into the movies with mom and dad. You're wanting to watch an R-rated movie, so we buy you tickets to a G-rated movie and then sneak into the R-rated one. You'll be super excited, but by the time the movie is over, you're traumatized and think that you'll be scarred for life. But not for long, because we thought this could happen. So we scheduled a G-rated movie for right after the R-rated one. So we go to the nice movie, and in the end, you'll forget that the other movie even happened. Getting a cavity with mom and dad. We ask if you're brushing your teeth every night, and you always say, yeah, even though you're running the water and scrolling through your phone, and inevitably, your teeth start to hurt. So we take you to the dentist, they find four cavities, and you run out of the office. You'll think that all of your teeth are gonna fall out, but not for long, because I've been going to dentistry school on the side, so we wait for you to fall asleep, patch you up, and you'll think that your cavities just magically went away. We're doing movies now. The Lion King. If mom and dad were in it. We have a massive empire in New York City, but I have a brother that wants it all. And one day, we internet adopt you and tell you that everything the light touches will be yours. But your uncle starts being super nice to you and invites us to his apartment in the sky, tells you to check out his balcony, and when you're not looking, he pushes us off the edge and convinces you that it's your fault. You'll think you'll have to run away to Jersey. But not for long, because we always pack a parachute. So we arrest your crazy uncle, you avoid Jersey, and inherit everything when you're old and ready. Love you. all of us the favorite. I think there's a major misunderstanding. You, watching this video, are the favorite kid right now. So I'm not the favorite anymore? You were two seconds ago. Can I go back to being the favorite? Well, you are the favorite when we tell you, but someone else is when we tell them, which means everyone gets to be the favorite. So for example, you're the favorite again now. And technically, if you keep watching this video, you'd consistently be the favorite forever. Love you. What if I don't want to be internet adopted? That's fine, but think about this. So our goal is to adopt everyone on the internet, build a magical place for everyone to live, and actually solve everyone's problems one day. So in reality, you're not doing it for you, but doing it for everyone else. And anyways, who wouldn't want to feel happier and have someone tell you that they love you every day? So if you're not convinced yet, think about it. Love you! Where were you last night? Out. Her plan had failed. After discovering Alex having too much fun during his couch punishment, the next night Melinda locked him out where he'd be forced to sleep in the cold. However, she didn't realize that Alex had his phone, wallet, and car keys, and so once her back was turned, Alex snuck out, booked a hotel, and then had the second best night of his life. And then when he returned the next day, Melinda had forgotten why she was mad at Alex in the first place. Until... I still think Addison is pretty, though. 
I just followed, but I don't want to assume that I'm adopted, am I? So if we adopt you, you automatically become our favorite, join the fastest growing family on TikTok, and you magically get everything you've ever wanted. But not everyone is internet adopted. So if you want to know if you're adopted, here's what it takes. If you've watched any of our videos, you're adopted. If you follow us, you're adopted. And basically, there's nothing you could do that would make us not adopt you. Love you. Are we allowed to run in the house? Shattering the TV with mom and dad. You're playing tag with yourself and you just got new socks. So you try to turn a corner, but you slip straight into the TV. It falls to the ground and shatters. You'll put it back together and hope we won't notice. But then we ask, do you want to watch a movie? You'll think you'll never be able to watch TV again, but not for long. Because we knew what happened. Half of the TV frame is falling off. So when you confess to what you did, we forgive you. Then we go to the store and let you pick out our new TV. Love you. Getting caught staying up late with mom and dad. You're having a sleepover and we told you to go to sleep hours ago. So you try to sleep, but you can't and just try to stay super quiet. But then the silence becomes so funny that all at once you burst out laughing and we come in the room. You'll think the sleepover is ruined, but not for long because you clearly need more space. So we book ourselves a hotel, order you lots of snacks and you'll have the best all nighter with the whole house just to yourselves. Love you. Getting dumped with mom and dad. Valentine's Day is coming up, but with only a few days notice, your Valentine calls it off. You'll be sad, lonely, dejected, and we'll want to make you a Valentine's Day treat. But I don't know how to bake, but not for long. Because we book a baking class on Amazon Explore. They'll show us how to mix, we'll learn how to sift, and very carefully pipe and drop. And after we're done baking, we'll surprise you with your very own French macaroons. Love you! Forgetting to do your homework with mom and dad. It's Saturday night and you have a ton of homework to do. But we ask if you want to have a movie night and you think, I'll do my homework tomorrow. But then tomorrow comes, you write one sentence and you reward yourself with a 15 minute phone break. But 15 minutes turns into 15 hours and it's 3 a.m. You'll think that you're going to fail, but not for long because you come to our room, we grab our Red Bulls and all finish everything just in time. Drive you to school and you'll get an A on all of your homework. Love you. We gotta do the thing. We're gonna keep trying to make you smile, but we might not always show up on your For You page. So we figured out a way for you to see us every day. And if you're feeling happy, sad, tired, save the end of this video. Ready? We love you. You're special and you're gonna have a great day. Love you. Why don't you guys have any rules? Happy birthday. Let me explain. So we think if you're a kid, you should have rules. But if you're an adult, we can't make rules for you anymore. And being internet adopted is like life in dog years. And one day counts as a year. So it's your birthday every day, which means if you've been following us for a week, you're probably already 18. So congrats, no rules. We're just gonna keep trying to be nice to you every day. Love you. Some lady keeps offering me candy. What do I do? Getting kidnapped with mom and dad. A stranger has been offering you candy for days now, and we tell you don't talk to them. But you think, what's the worst that can happen? So when we're not with you, they offer you the candy, you reach out your hand, they grab it, and you wake up in someone's closet. You'll think that it's all over for you, but not for long. Because you're 10 minutes late, so we check your location, realize what's happened, and text you, you know what to do. And you scream rocks. They'll be so disoriented that you'll break free, run home, and when you get there, we'll have all of that candy that you wanted. Love you. We're verified! Over the past two months, we've adopted a million more of you. And now, we're verified! But is anything gonna change? Yeah! Now, when we give you ice cream, it'll be verified ice cream. When we solve all of your problems, we'll provide verified solutions. Can we say f*** now? No. You still have to say f***s. Love you. I'm new here. Why can't I say f***? So we used to have rules, like no drinking, no dating, and we got rid of them. But for you to get all the benefits of smiling every day, ice cream, and being in the family, we still have one rule, no swearing. So instead of shit your pants, rock your pants. Apple, rock hole. And for everything else, just say what the rocks. Rock you. Getting caught raiding the fridge at night with mom and dad. I was cooking tonight, so it makes sense when you didn't want to eat the vegetables that I made. But we still send you to your room. But you think you're slick, so you wait until you think we've gone to bed and leave your room. But every noise you make is 10 times louder than normal. But still, you get to the fridge and you think you're in the clear. Then the lights go on and we're still sitting at the table. You'll think you're busted, but not for long. Because we didn't want to eat my vegetables either. So we throw in our coats, head downstairs, and we'll all get your favorite takeout. Is there any way that I could stop being your favorite kid? Okay, so the secret is out. You watching this video are our favorite kid. But what are the things that you could do that would make us change our Netflix password from your name to someone else's name? One, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing that can make us like you any less. What if I don't like rocks?
<laughs> it's okay. Not everyone's gonna like rocks. We decided that you're the pastor child. I'm the favorite. I'm the favorite. I'm the favorite. Oh my gosh, I'm the favorite. Oh, favorite. favorite. So there seems to be some confusion surrounding this video because not everyone can be the favorite kid. So just to make sure you really are the favorite, here are the two qualifications. One, you're internet adopted. Two, you're watching this video right now. So if you're still here, that means that you, no one else, are in fact the favorite kid. Love you. I think you forgot our Christmas presents. Okay, so we're a little late on this, but we totally didn't forget. Because this year you're getting fucked. Don't worry about coal in your stockings. Because they'll be filled to the rim with fucks. And when you get upset and scream fuck, you'll think you'll be in trouble. But not for long. Because we'll sit you down, look you in the eyes, and remind you that the only thing you're allowed to scream is fucks. Love you. What if we used your credit card? Accidentally maxing out the credit card with mom and dad. You're a material girl, so just in case you need something, you load our credit card on your phone. But one day you go to Starbucks and think they won't miss $10 and reload your Starbucks card. But as you're doing it, you sneeze. Accidentally press three extra zeros and purchase. You'll think you'll be screwed, but not for long because we go there every day. So we just enjoy Starbucks for three years. And since you helped us splurge a bit, we'll get you your very own cake pop. Love you. Which one of us is the password child? Okay, so the password child is like when you're trying to watch your parents' Netflix, but it's logged out. So then you ask, what's the password? And then they say your name or one of your siblings' names. And then whosoever name that is, is the favorite child. So out of all 3.7 million of you here, we decided that you're the password child. Don't tell your siblings. Love you.